Hey guys, um, it is about 20 past nine on Thursday. Um, a little bit thrown off in the video schedule the past what, couple of weeks because um, last week from like, oh today is, what's the date? It's the 17th, January 17th. Um, so last Sunday, um, the, what day was that? I don't remember, but a week ago Sunday, I got like super sick with a stomach bug and, um, and it was like the longest stomach bug I've ever had. I was down for, from like Sunday to pretty much Thursday. So I didn't do any filming that week. Um, I just was feeling too sick. So the footage that went up last time, the last video was actually from the previous week so uh yeah things are all thrown off but uh, in addition to not filming last week i also didn't really work at all last week i i got um, a tiny bit done there was one project i don't even remember what the project was but i had a deadline on wednesday i do remember that and i got stuff done for that but like basically besides that i was just laying on the couch all week and was super miserable so uh in addition to not filming there was no working which means i've been behind so um that is why i'm just now uh picking up the camera to vlog this week um i have been working on um some spot illustrations um for an editorial client and um some sketches for another packaging illustration project and um, a logo for a pharmaceutical company. So um, a few different things this week and I really haven't been able to show any of those. The stuff that I wanted to show and what I was hoping to pick up on and what we will pick up on is um, the working on and producing my Skillshare class. So in last week's vlog, I will link to it somewhere, um, you got to see kind of how I develop some of the outline of the class and uh, come up with the structure for what I want to teach, what the subject is going to be, and how I make like a super detailed outline to um, make sure I cover all of the points that I want to teach. So um, as I mentioned in that video, really before I can kind of finalize that and before I can go on to um, filming the, um, the sit down kind of education components to the course, I have to uh, do the, the demo piece just so I can know exactly what I'm doing and I can make sure to refer, in my examples, can refer to uh, the demo piece instead of just like something abstract that won't be shown in the class. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do this morning. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I uh, set up for filming and um, yeah, and what's gonna kind of go on behind the scenes with that. And then I think I will have Meg put in a few of the clips um, of the actual process itself. There'll probably be another video that's a full time-lapse of the entire process, but you'll get to see a little bit of um of what the frame looks like getting a battery signal already i guess i should have put a new battery in before i started filming uh yes and then the other thing i need to do today is scan in there are seven uh editorial illustrations so i have to scan those in and get them ready to uh send to the client so that is the plan for today and now i'm going to change the battery okay so i am running off my scans right now um, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of my setup. So this um, camera and tripod is what I'll use to film the talking head portions of the video. And then I have my other tripod here set up with my swing arm and my homemade weight. <laughs> um, and right now it has the uh, attachment for um, my iPhone because I was doing a, um, a live stream on Patreon a few weeks ago. Uh, but basically, I'm just going to take my vlog camera and put it right here. I'll probably raise up that um, the tripod a bit as well. Ultimately, I want to end up with a pretty wide frame. Um, I want to have, this is the sketch that I'm going to be using. And then since this class is about um, color, hang on one second, I'm going to set up my next scan. Okay, uh, anyway, since this class is about color and color matching and getting the right colors 
from your reference, um, I'm actually going to do something a little bit different and uh, work from a printed photo. Usually I just work from my iPad, but if you're just getting started with color, it's much easier to color match on something else that isn't, um, that doesn't have, that isn't backlit. So with the iPad, it's, it's great. I use it, as I said, I use it all the time. But it's tricky because any colors that you see are also, they're not just the color, it, it has light associated with it. So that can make some colors look more saturated or lighter than they actually are. So I'm going to uh, talk about how to work um, from a photo. So I'm going to have, I want to have both of these things in the frame and maybe even a little bit wider than that, maybe like this, because I want to be able to have my palette in the frame as well. So. Um, if I had three cameras, <laughs> I would have another angle that was kind of close in. Um, but right now I'm, I'm working with a limitation of just the two. So, uh, I'm going to have to make that work and hopefully people will be able to see well enough what's going on. Um, that's one of the reasons why I kept this a pretty small piece. I want it to hopefully be able to do it in about an hour and a half, um, which seems crazy, but I'm going to try. Um, and, uh, and then in addition to the size helping with the timing, it will also help make it so I can get everything I need in the frame. So, um, that's the plan and I'm going to use, um, the, sh well, I'll show you what I use when I set up my palette. Okay. So I think this is going to be my setup. Um, it kind of barely fits in the frame, so I want it to be as close in as possible. So I, I think even though it looks pretty tight, this is just what I'm going to go with. So I'll have the sketch down here in the bottom right. I guess I might bring that up slightly. And then I'll have the reference image here. And then I've got my blotter, tester paper here, paper towel, and then palette and water over here. And I'm just going to be using this... Um, really limited set of the Daniel Smith watercolors. I have a cool red and a warm red, a cool yellow and a warm yellow, a cool blue and a warm blue. Is that right? Well, one of these is cool, one of these is warm. I'll have to figure out which one's which once I see it on the palette. Um, but I'll be using these for the watercolor layer. Um, and I want to use these as opposed to my hydras because these are um, pigment, um, pure pigment based colors, uh, which I will talk about in the class. Um, but it's just going to make it a little bit more straightforward uh, when it comes to explaining color theory. Um, and then, of course, I will do colored pencils. So I'm going to go ahead and um, quarter to 10 now, get started on this and see how far I can get. I have finished the demo piece. I was not as good as I should have been about tracking the time, but <clears throat> I think it was definitely less than two hours because it's what, it's like 11.40 now. Um, maybe it was only an hour and a half. I'll have to see what the footage comes out to, but here's the photo and here's the illustration. Um, just wanted to show it to you guys. So there it is. Uh, at this point, um, I'm going to clean this stuff up and then um, I need to remove the background from those editorial illustrations and send those off to the client. Um, so I think I have about 30 minutes of work left, so I'll probably go downstairs just after 12. Um, I can't remember if I said this at the beginning or not, but Eric's parents are actually in town uh, this week, so they have been watching Penelope, which is... Uh, just really nice to have a little bit more flexibility this week since I lost so much time uh, last week with being sick. So um, I don't have the hard stop at 12 the way I usually do. So I'll um, probably just finish what I need to with the editorial stuff and send that email. Um, I saw one or two other client emails that I may try to follow up on as well. Um, and then that will be it for this morning. 
Okay guys, I just finished filming. I meant to set this up and record on the side a little bit so you could see me filming, but all it was was just me sitting there talking to the camera. Um, I'm gonna have to film a few other little bits of B-roll, um, but I have the, the main class filmed and I have the main demo filmed. Um, so once I do the B-roll and a few little voiceover sections, I will be ready to start editing. So the editing is gonna, and, and maybe even the filming of the B-roll <laughs> will all take place next next week so I'm gonna vlog again next week so you can see that process um, for now um, if you remember I think I did I say this yes Roger and Elaine Eric's parents are here visiting so they're with Penny right now um, it's a bit after 12 it's almost 12 30 so I'm gonna run down and have lunch with them um, and I think I'm actually gonna wrap up the vlog here although I did just remember I wanted to do a patreon shout out we have a couple of new patrons so far this month Actually, I think there might be one more that I'm missing, but um, I want to say hey to Miss L Adventures and to um, Chloe Silverberg. And I feel terrible because I met her in real life. I met you in real life, and I can't remember if it's actually Chloe or Chloe. <laughs> Um, but yes, hi to those folks. Thank you for, um, supporting my work on Patreon, for supporting this channel on Patreon. Um, and thank you to everyone else who has already been supporting me there for the last, um, I guess it's like eight months now that I've been doing it. So, um, you guys are making this channel possible. You're making it possible for me to make as many videos as you, as I do, because it makes it possible for me to have an editor who helps. So, um, and while we're on the note of thank yous, thank you as always to Meg for editing this. Um, and to all of you for watching and please do, um, leave your comments, questions, all of that in the discussion i always want to say in the in the description box but that's where i put this stuff in the comments in the discussion um and uh give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new and i hope everybody has a great week and i will see you in the next video bye <laughs>